Okay, this is, uh, today's date is August 30th, 2012. And we have, uh, harvesting some more of our uh, giant pumpkins. The variety is tri prize winner, prize winner. And it, while it doesn't get huge, we've had them over 200 pounds. We've had a pumpkins approaching 500 pounds of other varieties, most notably the Atlantic uh, Giant. We've already harvested these five. The biggest one there was 150.0 pounds. Now we're harvesting some more of these prize winners and we're, uh, we use a tarp to do that. It's the, we found the best method for anything over say 70 pounds. These are my children. They're grown children now. They're <laughs> all over 20 years old. And uh, they're hauling it to the uh, another of these giant pumpkins to the farm wagon. We've started these uh, prize winners in the peat pots in our unheated greenhouse. Now they're going to weigh it, weigh this pumpkin. Uh, my estimate is 155 pounds. This one was 150. See how close I am. Matthew here mentions 140. We'll see who's closer. 60.1 kilograms. <laughs> How many grams did they say? 60. Something's wrong. It isn't. Kilograms? Kilograms. Okay. Okay, that's... Yeah. Okay, 60 kilograms. So that's a smaller than... Uh, definitely smaller than I thought. I was off seven pounds. 133.2. Matthew says she's off seven pounds. And I was off more. Every pumpkin, even though so outside, weighs differently because of how much solid meat it is inside. I, I didn't lift it, so I had, didn't have, just judging by the size of the actual, the volume of it. Are we going to get more? Can you want to get another one? We're going to put these down. We're putting them down at the stand, mainly for display, although we will sell them if somebody wants to buy them. We did not price them yet. We're not going to price them too low. Now I see better. It, it probably, I could see it, it was smaller than this 150 pounder here. This 150 pounder. And it's 133.3. Three pounds, I believe. Now they're going to get one more of these. One more. A smaller one, is it? Yep. A smaller one. Probably just uh, show off. Because <laughs> it would have been easier with a tarp. A little one. A little pink one. Now there isn't really any more room for everything we got because they're going to ride on the wagon so they don't fall off. There we go. Now we're unloading. I didn't record it yet. I mean, I read, but I didn't get it set. Okay, do the next one. Okay, now we are going to load, unload these uh, prize winner pumpkins. 
That's the name of the pumpkin. They didn't win any prizes, although they could. Uh, the entrance part, either side. Now, as as we when we put them on, we use the tarp, and we use the tarp when we carry them off as well. Wants to put it on the top there of the table. This is what we call our pumpkin patch. We're starting it a little early, but they ripen a little early too. So Yes. Okay. Right. One thirty-three. 133.3 pounds. That's the biggest we have here. I believe there's bigger ones out there yeah. in the same patch. Okay. Could you walk on this side? Yeah, I think so. Those are corn uh, we planted here for, uh, in uh, May for this pumpkin patch for a decoration. Although we hit uh, giant corn, and we've also sold uh, those also sold uh, the seed at our stand. Plant these pumpkins in uh, out in the field in mid-May, and they did pretty good. Our only real problem was animals, which is typical. We do have a electric fence going around our farm, and uh, it does work most of the time. Although we had a power outage for a day, and that with some rain that caused the problem, and then they. Sometimes they knock, deer hit the fence and knock the wires together and lowers the voltage and electric fence never hurts anything even though I've had quite a few shocks from it and so has all the kids. Uh, it's, not, it's pretty safe and doesn't hurt the deer except it makes them sit up and take notice maybe they don't want to go in there.